2015. Taurus the Bull, from Wise Owl Savannah. Give us moon face, trust, magic. Moon in Virgo. Goddess of Wisdom, Chin Master, Goddess who expands the mind. God will, Ian, God of East. Skill, spread warmth and goodwill. Drew alignment, common history, connecting with old friends, nourishing the body and soul, connecting with soul families and like-minded people, healing self and helping others, bringing light to darkness, breaking illusions of division and duality, integration of many things, radical insight, spontaneity, rising above, guidance and reassurance from spirit. Catalysts for change, demonstrations of force and anger, pushing forward, extreme reactions, worries looping around the mind, psychological imbalance, refusing to see light, overworking, drag down. Sabian symbol for the lunar month astrological year, music of the spheres. The Leviathan magnetic filament that came from the east and had been building on the sun for days erupted yesterday, producing a coronal mass ejection. The eruption streamed the energy associated with the Sabian symbol of black and white children playing happily together. The blast of universal fellowship has been sent our way to help us see that division, separation, and segregation are illusions of perception. The fact that the filament's energy was twisting, literally, producing solar, tornadoes, and twirling like a giant whirling dervish for days and days only amplifies the powerful effect it will have on the collective of humanity. We can align with this energetic with concern and focus on spreading warmth and goodwill to all. This would be activating solar alignment, the wave that emanates from the heart and is in resonance with the music of the great sphere, the divine being embodied as our sun. Our fellowship with the sun has taken on a new dimension now that we are in a new dimension. Everyone can participate by maintaining the mindset of goodwill. This becomes a skill when we can practice it as against strong odds, like those in place today with astrological aspects today that favor projection of fears, overreactions, and coping difficulties. There is an unhelpful dose of moral righteousness peppered throughout, as well. Today, we reunite, realign, retune, and rebound. It's the first Gibbous Moon phase of the new year, and Gibbous is the magical time of the month. Each of us is a song, music of the spheres, that plays in harmony with the orchestral fellowship of the cosmos. Can you feel it? Special thanks to Andrew for transcribing yesterday's audio report, which is below. Tuesday, April 29th, 2015. First quarter moon phase. Step out, take action. Moon in Virgo, Black Moon Day. Those with the Sun or Black Moon in Virgo or Pisces undergo a process of tapping into personal power by facing fears and making friends with their shadow sides. Exact conjunction of the Moon and Black Moon is Wednesday, April 29th at 7.35 a.m. ET, 11.35 a.m. UT. Goddess of Wisdom, Chin Master, Goddess who expands the fields of the mind. God of Will, Ian, God of the East. Skill. Be acrobatic, recognize what is authentic real through the fruit of actions, not appearance. Through alignment, corrections and repairs, especially the things that are damaged or were unnecessary, attention to detail, clues, things that are alternative, ultra high levels of discernment, breaking limitations, elder people offering wisdom, something pointed out, being directed, direct and indirect action effects that ripple off and light into the field of consciousness, multiplicity of choices or options. Catalysts for change, causing damage, pretense, covering up, fooling through the focus on appearances, indecisive, difficulty maintaining focus, due to the number of things being highlighted and brought to attention, inflexibility when changes are presented, fear of not being good enough or qualified enough, minimizing what one has to offer the world, power grabs, projecting one's feelings onto others. Sabian symbol for the lunar month astrological year, the music of the spheres. 
9.35 a.m. ET. Due to the amount of information, today's report is being recorded and will be posted at the top of the homepage of www.oraclereport.com shortly. 10.25 a.m. ET. Audio report now posted. Report transcribed. So there was so much to talk about with today's report and on all of the energetics that are involved. The main things to remember are that there are going to be a lot of things happening rather quickly. Things are going to be pointed out directly to us if we are paying attention, and also frontlined into the focus of consciousness of the collective of humanity. It's on heightened alert visually right now and instinctually, because we have shifted into a new frequency, a new level of consciousness, the fifth dimension if you have followed my work in the audio recording for this lunar month. So today this is an interesting setup because we are at the last day of the black moon disseminating the energy of the Sabian symbol for 17 degrees of Virgo, which is a volcanic eruption. And the moon will make its once a month conjunction with the black moon. The moon does this every month with the black moon. And today, well tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, 7.35 a.m. is the conjunction of that. And so this is the last day of the full energy of the volcanic eruption. And this has been in place since right after the new moon. So it's expanding everything. There is an abundance of choices today and options. There are so many things going on and so many things to choose from. If you are faced with an important decision, you want to look at the fruit of someone's actions. What they've produced and what their intention is. Not what the outer appearance of something is. Appearance is full today. It's an imprint that the old system is manipulating right now to imprint energies into the field of consciousness. It is six days until the full moon, actually until the full moon phase. So keep in mind it's a black moon day, so everybody will be projecting their shadow sides, their own fears onto other people. Everybody will, not just people that have the sun or the black moon in Virgo or Pisces. Those folks will have the most intensive experience of the energetic, which could be rather overwhelming and difficult to cope with. So people should engage the skills of the wise owl, and the coping skills of being like the wise owl in the tree watching what's happening. You need to ground stabilize and equalize when the shadow energies begin to come up so so high for us to recognize. So I always recommend going outside and connecting with nature. And that's what will help with all of that. We can release all of those furs. Fur has no place in the fifth dimension. It's disempowered. What works in the fifth dimension is love. So let's talk about how we can use that knowledge to handle the days that are coming up and the period of time that I want to highlight in this report. The main focus and the reason for recording all of this because so much was shown today that projects onto the future. Okay so we begin the Gibbous Moon phase tomorrow Wednesday April 29th at 10.55 p.m. EST. And so the moon will be at that degree phase angle with the sun moving us into the gibbous phase. And the moon will be fresh off of this conjunction with the black moon early in the morning. So it's a flooding in of shadow side energy. Which brings us into the gibbous phase of the moon. And the Sabian symbol for the gibbous phase of the moon is the flag at half mast. And tomorrow the sun will be located at the Sabian symbol of a red cross nurse. And the Earth will be located at the Sabian symbol, the Fellowship Supper reunites all comrades veterans. I don't like this setup that opens the gibbous moon phase of these energetics, especially coming off of the volcanic eruption of the black moon and all that transpired on Earth with that. And the energetics, the intense energetics of the sun right now, that prominence is still dancing and will most likely is going to collapse and produce a hydro flare and a CME. And that is a region of energy that has been building for many many days throughout the first quarter moon phase, which is the energy of stepping out and taking action. And it seems to be, it's looking like old systems of the old world order is trying to respond to the energetic. And the opportunities that are implied within a lunar month that is the first of the year. The lunar month is equivalent to one long new moon phase, so everything that's inserted during that month, 
Everything that's dried or even tested or balloons that are being sent over. Any type of imprint or intention into the field has energetics that play out throughout the remainder of the astrological year. So we watch everything that's happening very closely and announcements about the reserve currency last week. They're seeding a lot of intentions into the field. Well, the Gibbous Moon phase that begins tomorrow on the 29th will contain this energetics. Of the Red Cross nurse, a flag at half-mast in front of a public building, and a fellowship supper reunites old comrades veterans. I don't like the setup for this and the energetic and the pretense and fooling by appearance false flag. May 5th, 7th is highlighted. There will be a grand drawing between Pluto, the Black Moon and the Sun dot but keep this in mind. We have expansive energy happening and one element contained in this is the signature of Thor's hammer within this dynamic. And this is the special signature within astrology that talks about will and drive. It's also called God's Fist. You can look it up. It's a quadriform. This says that all of the intentions that are being put in place, the seeds that are being put in place this lunar cycle to be enrolled the rest of the lunar year won't work because basically Thor's hammer is in place to maintain alignment with what is the reality of the fifth dimension which is manifestation of consciousness that is based within love nature and value of life. If it is contrary to that then it isn't going to be successful. But it will be tried because there really is no alternative for the other side. That is a quick overview of what is going on. And also I guess it is a reminder for us that we are just aware of what is happening, watching the field but we know that it is changing so that the way that things appear now, it is not the end of the story. This is a process in motion, a transition in effect. So be aware of what's happening. We maintain our ground and connection to the planet. We always keep it real. And observe. So I hope you can tune in when I am on Phoenix's show tonight. And we will talk more about this and how this is playing out in the geopolitical scene. So I hope you can join us then. Thanks everyone. Note, I will be Phoenix's guest tonight, Tuesday, April 28th, 10 p.m. Midnight 87 9 p.m. PT on Phoenix Rising Radio on Druth Frequency Network to discuss the latest. Hope you can join us. Thank you for supporting the Oracle Report. HTTP colon slash slash www.oraclereport.com slash 